Paulina, a big year for you this year. Talk about when it finally settled in that you were headed to Sochi for the 2014 Olympics. Well, it, it took me a week or two to really get um, into the groove of going to the Olympics and seeing everything there. And um, I just came back from nationals and I was still on cloud nine and um, I started training for the Olympics, but it hadn't really set in yet. And so when it did set in, I was just um, so ecstatic and um, so excited to go. And when you went to nationals, was there a thought in your mind that maybe I would be headed to the 2014 Olympics? Definitely. It was my goal at nationals to make the Olympic team. And I knew that I could do it because of the high difficulty in my programs. And um, I just went there and tried my best and gave it my all. And um, I'm really proud of how I did. And I'm really happy that I made the team. Right. And so you're the youngest skater since Tara Lipinski, 1998. What did that mean to you? It just meant so much to me because I've always looked up to Tara Lipinski. She's always been one of my role models in skating because she was so young when she went to the Olympics and she won. And I knew that I would be 15 at um, my first age eligible Olympics. And so I really just wanted to um, do my best to try to get there and um, just be kind of like Tara, be myself and um, just do well. And so you get to Sochi, but yet you are practicing in Germany and you have to kind of wait till the last week for your event. I think it was actually kind of nice because um, in Germany, it was kind of just getting into the groove there in Europe and skating in Europe. And then in Austria, it was just another week of training. And so it kind of kept all of the excitement away from um, the Sochi Olympics because I wasn't there yet. So it was just kind of like just another normal training week and just um, not being there made it less nerve-wracking to skate well there. And so you finish your short program and you're on the leaderboard with people like Yuna Kim. What is it like seeing your name up there with the best of the best? I was really excited. I um, expected myself to be up there with them and um, to have um, myself be in second place um, leading up to the last warm-up group. That was just um, a really great moment for me because I knew that I had skated well and um, my name was up there on the boards like it should be. You're finally done with skating and now it's the closing ceremonies. What were some of the coolest events, people you met and so forth? I just had so much fun there. Um, I got to see so many athletes, especially in the dining hall because that's where all everyone eats, right? And so um, I just hung out with the figure skaters a lot and um, I got to meet Joe Pavelski from the San Jose Sharks and that was definitely one of the highlights of that Olympic experience. Right, and back to skating, you've been given the nickname the Iron Butterfly. How true is that to really how you skate? Um, I love that nickname. I think it's um, really creative and really cool and um, I definitely think that describes me well because um, my skating is really light and balletic like a, butter like a butterfly. And um, at the same time, my head is, I'm pretty headstrong and um, I really always try to keep everything going and I don't want to let anything go. So I'm kind of tough like metal sometimes. Right, and so what's next from Paulina Edmonds? Obviously four years till the next Olympics. I just need to keep training, keep um, gaining experience and strength and um, skating the best that I can throughout the next four years. And um, building up to the next Olympics, I just want to just be the strongest skater that I can and um, really go just hit a home run there. All right, and we all know that's going to happen. You're, you're quite the individual at the age of 15. Thank you. Thank you.